This is Frank Zappa with today's edition of Porn Wars. Did you know that today, Senator Hollings, Democrat, South Carolina, has demanded legislation to do away with porn rock by December? Here is Senator Hollings. But in all candor, I would tell you it's, it's outrageous filth. Uh, and we've got to do something about it. I, I take the tempered approach and commend it of our distinguished chairman. And yet I would make the exception that if I could find some way constitutionally to do away with it, I would. Thank you, Senator Hollings. Now, during the Senate hearing on September 19th, it was noted that quite a bit of conflicting testimony arose as to the matter of whether or not legislation was wanted or was not wanted. Here is Senator Danforth, Republican from Missouri. So the, the reason for this hearing is not to promote any legislation. Indeed, I don't know of any suggestion that any legislation be passed. But to simply provide a forum for airing the issue itself, for ventilating the issue, for bringing it out in the public domain. The concern is that the public at large should be aware of uh, the existence of, uh, of this kind of music and the fact that it is now available to kids and that kids of all ages are able to buy it. Thank you, Senator Danforth. Now, let's hear from Senator Exxon of Nebraska. Well, the point I'm trying to make is, yeah. and uh, well, I think these hearings uh, should not have been held if we're not considering legislation or regulations at this time. I emphasized earlier that they might follow. I simply want to say to you that I suspect that unless the industry, quote, cleans up their act, and I use that end quote word again, uh, there is likely to be legislation. And it seems to me that it would not be too far removed from reality or too offensive to anyone if you could follow the general guidelines, uh, right, wrong, or indifferent, that uh, are now in place with regard to the movie industry. Thank you, Senator Exxon. And now let's hear from some of the ladies from the PMRC themselves. Here is a question from Senator Gore to Mrs. Gore. A minute ago, you said there's no way you can tell. In fact, some of the material has uh, an album cover design which will indicate it, but some does not. Is that correct? That's right. Some of the album covers are very explicit. In fact, they look like they should be in Playboy or Penthouse, some of them. And they're in the record bins available to young children. But others, you can't tell. Um, I bought the Purple Rain album for our 11-year-old. And uh, I didn't know that Darling Nikki was on it. And I felt that it was inappropriate for her and her 8- and 6-year-old sister to hear a song describing a girl masturbating in a hotel lobby with a magazine. Uh, I had no warning. In fact, all I knew was from the that Prince was the new creative uh, teen idol on the scene and had just received a Grammy Award. So I would have appreciated it if I had known that before purchase. And now let's get an interesting sort of feminist slant on the whole matter from Senator Paula Hawkins, Republican from Florida. This is one senator that feels that uh, there's no absolute right to free speech. It's been my experience that no one has the absolute right to yell fire in a theater which is not on fire. Thank you, Paula. Very astute. And I know you did want that entered in the congressional record because you said so. And here's a videotape of you saying so. And I'd like that statement to be in the uh, record. I believe no one has the right to poison our children with the lyrics that you have with your group um, showed this committee so graphically today. Now, in the rest of your testimony, Senator Hawkins, you went on to make some very, very startling revelations about porn rock. Porn rock. I, it's my life, and I love sex. Oh, very interesting, Senator Hawkins. The next video is by the group Twisted Sister, 
and we'll show you a brief portion of that. These are very popular videos. People is evident in the back to school contest being run by MTV. First prize is a get together with Twisted Sister. Is that, do me a favor, I think we want an automatic there. If you'll, that little knob at the bottom, if you'll run that back toward the back. No, I'm sorry, back toward the back of the projector. There's a turn on knob and the knob below that. Run that back. Okay. No, the one below that. Run that back to the back. There you go. I think we've got on automatic. My apologies. The back to school contest being run by MTV's first prize is a meeting with Twisted Sister. The hit song from the album, We're Not Gonna Take It, was released as a video which you saw just a moment ago. A video in which the band members proceed to beat up Daddy who won't let them rock. Now Paula also presented for the edification and amusement of all those people who were in the Senate hearing this incredibly exciting video from Van Halen. One criticism of the rock industry is the way it portrays values in rock videos, which are viewed by the kids while we're all busy here being legislators. There are suggestions that the move to label rock albums be extended to videos as well. I don't watch much television. I'm not sure how many of my colleagues get much opportunity to watch any of the music video shows now available on cable and free TV. I brought along two videos from which to choose, which I believe are representative of the kind of presentation which have caused the furor. We will show them. The first is by the group uh, Van Halen. Let's cut to the end of the Hot for Teacher video performance in the Senate and see what happened. That video, that video is no, called... Wait, no, wait a second, Senator Hawkins, just a minute. No, this is a very uh, large crowd today. We have allowed people in beyond the capacity of this room. We're not going to have any demonstrations, no applause, no demonstrations of any kind. I thank the chairman. The title of that tape was Hot for Teacher. And we will uh, the, give each senator a copy of the words. They'll promise not to distribute them beyond their own possession. A question. Burn a building. Burn, burn, burn. It contains controversial material. Viewer discretion is advised. Horn Rock. I, it's my life. And I love sex. Now, as you know, the PMRC, because they are individually very, very nice ladies. I mean, I have met Mrs. Baker, and I have met Mrs. Gore myself, and I must say they are charming. However, behind the scenes, someone is giving them top secret information about what is really dirty, what is really ugly, and what is undesirable about rock and roll. And that man is Reverend Jeff Ling, a man so ashamed of being a reverend that he dropped the reverend from his name when he went to the Senate. Here is the actual Reverend Jeff Ling, introduced as Jeff Ling, consultant to the PMRC, delivering part of his exciting slideshow for the benefit of all of the senators in the hearing. Let's move on to sexuality, a theme which has been part of rock music since its beginning. Today's rock artists are describing sexual activity and practice in terms more graphic than ever before. Many of you are aware of Purple Rain, the multi-million seller by Prince. Much has been said about the song Darling Nikki from the album. I met a girl named Nikki. I guess you could say she was a sex fiend. I met her in a hotel lobby masturbating with magazines. Another album by Prince called Dirty Mind presents a positive attitude toward the subject of incest. These lyrics are from the song called Sister. I was only 16, but I guess that's no excuse. My sister was 32 and kind of alone. My sister never made love to anyone but me. Incest is everything it's said to be. This is Motley Crue's album, Shout Out the Devil, Double Platinum. The song on the album we're concerned with here is 10 Seconds to Love. Touch my gun, but don't pull my trigger. Shine my pistol some more. Here I come. Reach down real low, slide it in real slow. You feel so good, do you want some more? I've got one more shot. My gun is still warm. Ah, here's the best part of the reverend's testimony. This was the most sensational part of the hearing, as far as I was concerned. This is the part where the reverend recites the lyrics to Golden Shower by Mentor. 
Listen, you little slut, do as you are told. Come with daddy for me to pour the gold. Golden showers, all through my excrements you shall roam. Bend up and smell my anal vapor. Your face is my toilet paper. On your face I leave a shit tower. Golden showers. Mr. Chairman, right, that concludes my remarks, and I thank you. I'm sorry your time has expired. <laughs> If we could have the lights on, please. Sexual ignorance leads to sexual misconduct. If you don't know what you're doing with it, then you shouldn't really be going around doing stuff with it. So you need all the information you can get. Some of it you have to get from Dr. Ruth. Some of it you need to get from Sheena Easton. For those of you who have big problems, you could get it from Blackie Lawless. But you don't have to follow any other directions, and that is the point of this whole matter. You don't have to buy it, and if you hear the lyrics, you don't have to believe it. You can listen to it and go, yeah, that's interesting. I wonder what he had for breakfast. And now, more porn wars. Paul, since I traveled the country for three years and they said they couldn't understand me, maybe I could make a good rock star. I don't know. <laughs> well, if we're not talking about federal regulation, not talking about federal legislation, what is the reason for these hearings in front of the Congress? We don't question their right to have their own music. We think that's important. But rock music uh, doesn't appeal to me at all, but it does to my uh, kids and it does to my grandchildren. Pornography. It wakes them up in the morning. The Parents Music Resource Center is not advocating any federal intervention or legislation whatsoever. Rock lyrics have turned from, I can't get no satisfaction, to I'm going to force you at gunpoint to eat me alive. First Amendment issues are decided with a preference for the least restrictive alternative. In this context, the PMRC demands are the equivalent of treating dandruff by decapitation. The issue here is larger than violent and sexually explicit lyrics. It is one of ideas and ideals, freedoms and responsibility in our society. Do you make a profit from uh, sales of rock records? Yes. Thank you. I think that statement tells the story to this committee. Unformed values of uh, still unformed minds. Not all parents want to keep their children totally ignorant. Uh, you and I would dip on what's it, ignorance and educated. I can see that, but, uh... We now propose one generic warning label to inform consumers in the marketplace about lyric content. The labels would apply to all music. A voluntary labeling is not censorship. Somebody in an office someplace is making a decision about how smart my child is. One can't stop everything. The labels would apply to all music. Uh, one of the things that I uh, find it most difficult to do is to impose upon others what my particular beliefs are. The labels would apply to all music. Nightlight returns with tonight's feature film.